This video is part two of the Foley catheter insertion. This video will cover the catheter insertion on a male patient. So to begin, just continue to follow the steps from the very beginning of the Foley catheter insertion on the female patient. And I will begin at this, at the point where um, the, I have the actual tray between the patient's legs. In this video, I'm just going to cover the differences between the male and female catheter insertion. So to reiterate, just remember for a male patient, you want to make sure the positioning is having the patient supine with the legs extended and the thighs slightly apart. After opening the sterile catheter tray, I'm going to open, grasp the three corners and open just three of the corners to begin with. I already have my clean gloves on. Next, I'm going to grab the drape from inside the catheter kit and I'm just going to touch the edges of the drape. I want the shiny side down. I will put the drape between and over the patient's thighs, just, just touching the corners of the drape and I will have the drape also under the penis. Next, I'm going to do pericare on the male patient. I have the Castile wipes that come in the kit. I'm going to open the wipes and I'm going to, with my hands, this is my non-dominant hand, I'm going to grasp the penis and I will have the wipes available one wipe at a time, I'm going to cleanse, begin cleansing in a circular motion from the urethral meatus and cleansing outward. So with one wipe at a time, I'm going to begin at the meatus, cleansing outward, and I'm going to discard my wipe. I'm going to take another wipe. So with each separate wipe, I'm going to begin at the meatus, cleanse outward, and discard with each wipe. Then I'm going to remove my gloves and I'm going to perform hand hygiene with the Purell hand sanitizer wipes that are provided. So I'm going to wipe my hands and discard them and I'm going to then going to open the last portion of the packaging, keeping everything sterile. And then on top are my sterile gloves provided. So I'm going to grab the packaging of the sterile gloves. Maintaining sterile technique, as you learned in the other video, I'm going to unfold the top portion and unfold the bottom portion of the gloves. And depending on the kit, the gloves may come packaged a little bit differently, but you will know that they're sterile gloves based on the packaging. And again, I'm going to first put on the sterile glove, holding with my non-dominant hand, putting it on my dominant hand, not touching any of the inner portion of the glove. Then I will take my dominant hand and just grasping underneath the cup with my four fingers and holding my thumb out like a hitchhiker's thumb. place the sterile glove on and if you're noticing, since
since I'm maintaining sterility, I can put the gloves on appropriately over my fingers as needed. Next, I'm going to take the fenestrated drape that is in the packaging. And I'm going to place the open end of the fenestrated drape over the penis. Okay. So this is all sterile here. I am then going to remove the upper portion of the tray, keeping it on the sterile field and making sure that it is nowhere near, again, one inch, nowhere near the edges of the sterile field. I'm going to remove the covering of the catheter. And place it in the trash. <clears throat> Being very careful that the catheter is not flailing all over. Then I'm going to take the syringe full of sterile water and I'm going to connect that to the balloon port of the catheter. Then I'm going to place this back in the packaging, making sure that my catheter, that the bag is clamped Next, and for demonstration purposes, I'll show you the lubricating gel. This will, what you'll do is you'll take the cap off and you'll squirt the gel in the inner portion of the tray. Also, there are three iodine sticks provided. Again, making sure at the very beginning of the video um, that the patient is not allergic to any iodine and you're going to open the swab sticks and have them available in the tray for easy reach. And next, I'm going to grasp the penis with my non-dominant hand. And I'm going to start cleansing the penis using one swab stick Per, um, per application and then discarding each swab stick. You don't want to go back and forth. So I'm going to grasp the penis with my non-dominant hand. If this is an uncircumcised male, you will retract the, the foreskin. And I'm going to take one swab at a time, beginning at the urethral meatus, working in a circular motion and working outward towards the shaft of the penis going to discard the swab stick and repeat the process with each swab stick beginning at the meatus in a circular motion working my way outward and down towards the shaft and discarding. Next I'm going to take the catheter For demonstration purposes, lubricating the catheter here with the appropriate lubricant. And for the male, you want to lubricate the catheter about five to seven inches. Next, uh, before I insert the catheter, I'm going to hold the catheter about three to four inches from the tip of the catheter. I'm going to ask the patient to bear down and I'm going to make sure that I hold the penis perpendicular to the patient's body. Please bear down as though you're having, you're urinating and as the patient is bearing down, I'm inserting the catheter very slowly. I'm going to go all the way to the bifurcation or the Y portion of the catheter 
if I need any resistance, I can have the patient take a deep breath and slightly rotate the catheter. And I'm going to go all the way to the Y. And once I see urine and I'm at the very end of the catheter, and this is for a male patient, then I'm going to take my thumb and my index finger with my non-dominant hand. And then with my dominant hand, I'm going to inject the sterile water all the way. Most of the, man, look at the manufacturer's, manufacturer's um, instructions. This is a 10 milliliter syringe. I'm going to discard that. Slightly, gently pull back until you meet resistance. And then you will lower the penis return it to the appropriate position. If it is an uncircumcised male, you want to make sure that you replace the foreskin over the glands. And at this point, at this point, all of the steps from here on out are the same as the insertion of the catheter in a female patient.